What's up everybody, it's Sega Man back here with another top 10 video. Uh, I'm collecting some stuff I've been getting to do another pickup video here soon, but I'm really liking these top 10 uh, games I have in my collection. I like doing these videos. Uh, this time it's going to be uh, Sega CD, my top 10 Sega CD games I love of all time, because I, I have a whole lot of uh, Sega CD games that I've collected in the years and I've had these games for a very long time and these are uh, one of them is my favorite but you know these are these are my top 10 of all favorite games for the Sega CD um, so let's get started guys now the first one here is actually when you got the Sega CD this was actually free uh, inside the um, inside the package when you got the Sega CD system. The first original Sega CD which I have, I have it put away. I also have the uh, one that's actually built in where you can put a Genesis 2 on the side. That's the one I use. But in, in the original box, uh, you got a couple of games and CDs for free actually. Back at the time, the Sega CD by itself was $500 back then. And, you know, and um, People paid for it. A lot of people waited for it to come down, but when it first came out, it was $500. I think it was either four or five hundred dollars. And I actually, I got it back then. I actually saved up back then, and I actually picked it up. And um, I want to show you uh, the one of the games that were in there. Now, this game is actually worth, I think, a little bit of money today on uh, Amazon and I guess eBay. I don't really use eBay, but it might be worth. I think it's worth a little bit of money, not too much. And that is um, that is Soul Feast. And um, this was actually free. It has really good artwork. Very, very good artwork uh, on the cover there. And uh, it is a great side-scrolling uh, shoot-em-up game. And it's made by, I believe, Wolf Team. Now, I don't think Wolf Team is around anymore. But um, it was just, you know, plain. You know, but it, I mean, it was a great free game to have. Especially have a shooter sh shoot-em-up game. You don't really get shoot-em-up games for free back then in systems. You know, uh, but... This was free in there, and this is my number 10. This is a great game. Uh, if you have a Sega CD or you're, you're in the market of buying one, and make sure it works, um, and you like side-scrolling shoot-em-ups like I do. I'm a, I'm a I love a shoot-em-up lover. I have mostly all the shoot-em-ups that I can find, even digitally on the uh, Xbox One X. But this is a great game for your Sega CD. I highly recommend this game. This is an awesome shoot-em-up. And they also had another, I have the other one too, uh, on the Sega Genesis, which is also pretty pretty awesome too. And uh, it has great graphics, and it also has really great music in it. That's the thing. The thing with Sega games, it had great music uh, in, in, the, in the game. It was, so, it was just so awesome, man. It was a laid-back shooter, and it is an awesome game, and I still go back and play it today. Now the next one I got here, like I told you before, I showed you another version of this game on another system. But it originally was out on the Sega Genesis. And that is Split Heed. This is another shoot 'em up game. Kind of like a how you say like a like a a three D like kinda of like a Star Fox kinda, like a Star Fox, you know? Uh it is pretty goddamn good. Now I had this game for a long time, and it has—I think it has a little bit of a cult following. But it is uh, made by Game Arts, and um, it is a great shoot 'em up game for your Sega CD, man, in 3D. It is pretty awesome. Now you know the graphics, of course, are going to be dated, but um, it's a really, really good game. I take really good care of my Sega CD games. Um, I still have the little sponge that also is inside there with it. And then um, there's the game right there, you know, and then it has the little book right there with it. And, um, you know, back in the day, you know, when they put them in these cases, these hinges would break so, so easy. You know what I mean? Uh, on these, I, I don't know why they use these big cases like this, but um, to find this complete, um, I'm pretty sure it actually went up in price. I'm not saying it's like $150 or nothing. I'm pretty sure it's up to probably in a probably in twenty thirty dollar range. I would I would think, you know, what I mean, unless you just find where it's just a disc, you know. But this is also a great, <coughs> excuse me, shoot 'em up. Now I don't know if you could see the graphics very well because of my camera, but um, like you can see here, the three D, 
Um, it just was a great game for the Sega CD, and I, I love this game. So that's my um, number nine. Now, my number eight game, <laughs> a lot of people, uh, you know, got on this game back in the day. Um, but it was a great game. Um, it was actually a controversial game. And it had Dana Plato in it. You know, sad that she passed away. She couldn't get any work after doing different strokes. She had a really bad alcohol and drug problem. But you know the game I'm talking about. And I have it here complete. It is uh, Night Trap. Uh, it is a cheesy, um, you know, like, this is when they were doing the uh, digit digitized characters in the in the game. You know what I mean? It was like a point and click. You had to click on uh, certain parts in the game before the time was up. Or you would end the game. But it, um, it is a great game. And there she is on the front. Um, I do believe this have, went, this have went up in price. And um, this one's a cardboard box. You know, and there's the booklet right there, the book. And it came with um, the, the CDs in here. It actually came with uh, two discs. This is the, the first, oh, I'll show you here. This is the first one. And it's made by Digital Pictures. That's the second disc. And um, this was the first disc. But um, it came, I think the original, I think it was another version of this that actually came in a shell casing. It has a little booklet right there with it. But um, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was cheesy. I liked it because it was funny and cheesy and it was a little bit challenging. But um, it's, a, it's a great game. So if you get a chance, maybe if you can pick it up on a cheap Night Trap, it's pretty, um, pretty cool. Now, uh, my number uh, seven game, which is also a great game, with good music in it, great movie. Uh, I like the second one better, but the, the Sega CD had the best version of this, and that is the Terminator for the Sega CD. Another great game that came out for the uh, Sega CD. Um, great uh, sound effects, uh, great t digitized uh, cutscenes. And it, it was great for it that time. You know, people were blown away by these things back in my day, you know, because you just never seen nothing like that in gaming. You know what I mean? That's, technology is just awesome. It still has the little sponge with it. And, you know, and there, there's the game. But um, the Terminator game was really, really good. And it looked nice. It was a crisp and clear graphic, 2D graphics. Um, the art uh, form in the backgrounds... It were very, very good. And I can show you the back just a little bit there. You're not going to see it much because of the casing. But um, this was a really, really, really good game. So if you could find Terminator for your Sega CD, pick it up. It, it's, um, it's pretty good. Now, my number six game here is um, Revenge of the Ninja. Now, this one here was another point-and-click you had to click on where he, the animations where you had to jump. Because if you didn't, you missed. You had to start back uh, where, you, where you first began at. Now, it's a, more of an, a kind of like an anime-like type uh, game. And um, it, it just it's an arcade style, you know, three different modes. Um, it was just really good. I, I liked it, these games for some reason. I just liked them. I liked the, the way the... Uh, Animations are the cartoony kind of old school anime graphics. Um, it was really good, you know what I mean. And um, I still play this today. It was just awesome, you know what I mean. Like I said, remember I told you, see, they just, you know, they they broke so easily. There's the the game right there. But um, it's not. It was. It's a. It's a great game. Now I don't. I don't know if these. I don't really look these up. Some of these have went up in price, but if you want to give it a try, you know, maybe if you could find on a cheap, they have a Sega CD, try it out, you know what I mean? Uh, Revenge of the Ninja, it's pretty good, you can't, you can't go wrong with it, it's really, really good. <clears throat> Another game that I don't never see nobody review on the Sega CD, when I do Sega CD reviews, and um, this game is a fighting game, Fight or Die, <clears throat> it kind of has like RPG characters in it. And it is uh, Revenge of Vengeance. Um, this I've never seen this game before, and I picked it up a long time ago for about five or six bucks for the Sega CD. <clears throat> but this is a great fighting game, and I believe this is up in price pretty much. 
And, um, you know, the anime in it was pretty... The backgrounds in this was awesome for the Sega CD. The graphics were also pretty good 2D graphics. But this is a great uh, fighting game. Back in those days, I was really, really into fighting games. I got every fighting game I could on the system. It's a great game. Um, try it out. Maybe look it up some if they have some footage on it on YouTube. But it is a great game, in my opinion. And I loved it, man. It is an awesome game. So, that's my, uh, what are we down to? Is that number six? That's my number five. Okay, now my ne the next one I got here, number four. Oh, man, this is when, it was, this is when uh, wrestling was good. You know what I mean? My, my personal opinion, my favorite wrestling league was um, <clears throat> WCW. And uh, I liked it, the NWO for a long time. But this was when it was, uh, this is called Rage in the Cage on Sega CD for w WWF. Has all the great superstar wrestlers in there. Unfortunately, most of these, well, some of the, half of these guys are dead actually. But um, that's when I was into wrestling, man. And it was a really good port for the Sega CD, um, uh, Rage in the Cage. It's a really good uh, wrestling game for the Sega CD. It's in perfect condition. Um, you know, got the little spongy thing with it. But if you're like old school wrestling games, <coughs> excuse me, try picking this up. You know, for your Sega CD if you can find it on the cheap. Um, it has so many different wrestlers in there that I loved. You know what I mean? Like, um, let's see. I liked it. Uh, let's see. Razor Ramon was in here. Uh, Kamala. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Bam Bam Bigelow, you know, uh, Randy Savage, a whole, just a whole lot of wrestlers. Uh, Ted DiBiase, you know, just uh, Iron R. Shyster, I believe that's his name. And, you know, it just was a great game. Yokozuna, this is a great game to pick up for your Sega CD, man. If you love old school classic wrestling, which is the best wrestling in my opinion, pick this up. You can't go wrong. Now, my number three for Sega CD, this is actually the best version at that time for the 16-bit systems. Sega CD did it way better than the Super Nintendo and even, even its own brother, the Sega Genesis. And it is um, Mortal Kombat on Sega CD. This is, this is the closest you could get to arcade realism, was the Mortal Kombat on the Sega CD. You know, like it says, big, bigger, better, louder, meaner. And it also had, uh, and if you get this game, it has the original music video, Mortal Kombat, where the kid is in the, in the uh, is down in the city screaming, Mortal Kombat! You know what I mean? And people, and had the music was really loud in it, but it was, it was a really awesome game, man, for your Sega CD. It probably went up a little bit in price, but, uh, the graphics were way better in this. More detail. You know what I mean? The blood was way better. The fatalities were way better in the Sega CD version. And there's Rage in the Cage actually advertised on the back of that. But um, this is a really good game, man. If you love Mortal Kombat, which I do, um, this, this, is, uh, this is worth picking up, man. It is. It's worth picking up if you have a Sega CD and you're a collector. It's a great composition to add to your collecting for Sega CD. So pick it up. Now... My number two, which was another great game, and people still talk about this game today on the Sega CD, is Sonic CD. Now, you can get this game on, via Back and Pat on your Xbox One X. Uh, I believe you could get it on the... I don't know if... I think you can get it on the Wii U. I'm not sure. And I think you can get... I believe you can get... I don't know if you can get it on PlayStation 4. I'm not sure. But um, <clears throat> this was a great game. Very, 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 very good music in this, in this game. You know, to me, there's nothing better than the original. I could see a difference when I play the one on the Xbox One X. It's it's a little different. There's just something different about it. But this is just the best version, man. And if you could find it on a cheap uh, Sonic CD, pick it up because you won't go wrong. It has good cutscenes in it, Cart like a cartoon graphic cutscene, like a you know, anime of Sonic. This is really awesome, and it's a great game to own for your Sega CD. <coughs> you really can't go wrong with this. It even has Echo the Dolphin, you know, <coughs> excuse me, advertising this. So, if you get a chance, pick it up, man. It's a great game for your collection. Now, my number one, before I show you my number one, I do have an honorable mention game I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you my number one here. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. 
excuse me guys, <clears throat> back in the day I was just really in, um, in the fighting games. And me and my friend, Eric, a long time ago played this game for hours and hours and hours just to get all the characters and try to do the different things in this game. And it is a really, really good game. I think it's, I just think it's great creativity uh, uh, by Deep Water and Sega. I mean, it's just great creativity and great 2D graphics. And that is um, Eternal Champions Challenge from the Dark Side. This, this is a great, great game, guys. I can't explain to you any better. Um, a lot of people might not have liked it. You know, but I mean, I just, I thought it was great. It's Mortal Kombat on crack. I mean, it's just the fatalities and stuff in this was just so different and different and creative, you know, in this game. And there was so many different characters that you could be in this game. They were just very creative with Eternal Champions. And they'll probably never make another Eternal Champions. But if you could find this on the cheap, guys, for your Sega CD and you have it on a Sega Genesis... This is 10 times better than the Sega Genesis version. You will love this game. The beautiful colors in it, the graphics, and the music are superb in this game. So if you can find this game, pick it up, guys. It's a great game. Eternal Champions, um, Challenge from the Dark Side. It is a great, great game. I highly recommend this if you're into fighters and you want to try old school fighters, guys. Get your hands on it, the Eternal Champion, Challenge from the Dark Side. It is a great game. That is my number one for my Sega CD. Now my honorable mention, before we go, <clears throat> is I played this actually in a mom and pop store when I was very young. Very young. You know, a little, little dive mom and pop store where you can get, <clears throat> a lot of you young cats won't remember, but I used to get something called Penny Candy, right? And um, you like, if you brought in 50 cent, you got 50 pieces of candy, you know, in a little brown paper bag. You know what I mean? All different kind. Alexander the Grape, uh, you know, uh, Chico Sticks, uh, you know, different types of Mary Jane candies, just different all types of candies. And in the back of there, they had this game, and I was amazed by it because I, I thought it was actually watching a cartoon. And it is uh, Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair for the Sega CD. This is my honorable mention. This was, it's a little bit, a little hard. You know, because you have to do your timing has to be right in this game. But back then, the tech to see that in gaming, the technology that they put behind this game was just awesome, and it was just great. And that's it was just really a great time for gaming. It's still good today, but I just think nothing beats uh, the yesteryear of gaming. You know what I mean? Nobody was fighting over um, these systems today with 60 frames per second and graphics and I mean it's just senseless you know someday maybe you'll get over that bull crap and you just guys just enjoy your games but back then in my day when I played games we never ever talked really that much about that you know what I mean and if we did it wasn't to this extent where it is today on social media it was never to that extent you know we were all still friends and everything we might joke around about what looked better a little bit on the Sega Genesis versus Super Nintendo or something like that, but not like today. But this was a great game for the Sega CD. Really close to the arcade port of this game. So Dragon Slayer, if you could pick it up, add to your Sega Genesis, I mean Sega CD collection. <coughs> it's a good game to have in your collection, guys. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. That was my top ten. Of my favorite Sega CD games. I'm going to be doing some more top 10 soon. I definitely will be coming back um, <clears throat> with another pickups video real soon. I just want to get <clears throat> enough stuff to show for my pickups video. And I just want to say a big thanks uh, to all my friends out there. E-Rock. Uh, Hebot. Great guy. We just did a, did a video and streamed a game. It's up on his channel. Check it out. <clears throat> really uh, cool, old school, classic game we played. The Dungeon and Dragons Fighter. <clears throat> really good. Check it out on Hebot's channel. Have a little bit of a cold today, guys. You'll have to excuse me. But um, I want to thank all, everybody for watching my videos. I really do appreciate your comments and everything you have to say about uh, the games I show. And in, and in general, gaming. You know, as long as you're not a troll, you know... 
you're always welcome to my channel and I will subscribe back to your channel. It doesn't matter if you don't have any content. Maybe you just want to have a YouTube channel and that's cool. You know, I will subscribe back to you. And if you have videos and you do videos on gaming or uh, games that you stream and you, you upload it to YouTube, I'll comment and I'll subscribe. I, I guarantee you that 100% because I really appreciate you guys coming to my channel and checking out uh, my channel and what I think about gaming. All right? So... Um, I want to give a shout out to Sire649, Rambo, he's a cool dude, check out his channel, Randy Rambo, he's a really cool dude, check out his channel, Thrifty Gamer, he's a, he's a little different, I mean he shows games when he can, you know, and he shows a lot of his DVD pickups, he's cool, just check him out, you know, give him a thumbs up, he's, a, he's an alright guy, he really is, you know, he's a, he's an alright guy. And uh, Carly's Corner, I don't know what's going on with Carly, I, I tried, I commented a couple of times on her channel, she never responded back you know i hope everything's okay with her if you hear this video carly you know um i hope everything's well with you and your channel so keep up the good work <clears throat> well guys i'm gonna get going this video's going a little bit too long but thank you for watching guys thank you for subscribing and i will see you guys in the next video all right and always remember for me guys xbox for life jump in peace